National Democrats have raised alarms about support slipping in rural America over the last two decades, where Donald Trump won roughly two-thirds of the rural vote. Here in Anson, 2,500 voters of color set out the last election, as a state Supreme Court seat was decided by 401 votes out of 5 million cast. To Cynthia, the disconnect isn't rocket science. Few do what her team does in the rural South. Even worse, they sometimes forget black people live there. Do you feel like you've seen the changes that you deserve here? You know, in Anson County, those young men, black men under 40, turned out at 35 percent in the 2020 general election. And so actually having a chance to have conversation with them and the fact that they really seem to feel, you know, kind of validated to be heard. Even the church, traditionally the beating heart of black politics and optimism, is losing some ground. It's time to rally the troops. COVID has uh, spread us every which way. We, we can't always keep up with whether people coming or going. You got to take Pastor Alvin Bernie saw the pandemic frighten and diminish his congregation. Young faces often aren't out in the pews. Here in Anson County, I think survival is on everyone's mind. Are people losing faith? I think people are losing faith. It's, I think that's just the reality of the situation. When you feel like something was taken from you, it's real easy to lose faith in a process that was established. We spent a day at a popular black-owned convenience shop in Morvin, a town in Anson that is almost 100% black, hanging out with entrepreneurs, nurses, and veterans. People I don't believe in the government too much. Do you feel like the Democratic Party has done much for black people in the last oh, no. couple years? <laughs> Taking us down through there, it's about it, taking out like sheep, like the rest of them, they ain't gonna do nothing for us. All right. <laughs> well, you have it there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> What's up? How are you? Thank you. What's made you feel like voting isn't worth it? For you to sit there and you see your elders say something to, you know, the, the town hall or something like that and nothing's being done about it, after a while you just, it just becomes a non-factor in your life. You just feel like, I'm going to just do what I got to do, survive on a day-to-day, -day, make a way for my family and everything like that.